Jerome Max Kelly Holloway, born December 4, 1991, is an American professional mixed martial artist. He currently competes in the featherweight division in the Ultimate Fighting Championship, UFC. A professional since 2010, Holloway became the UFC featherweight champion when he defeated Jose Aldo on June 3, 2017, before defending the title three times. As of July 11, 2023, he is number one in UFC featherweight rankings, and as of January 24, 2024, he is number 14 in the UFC men's pound for pound rankings. Background Holloway was born in Honolulu, Hawaii, and raised in Waianae, an area known for fist fighting. He is of native Hawaiian and Samoan ancestry. Holloway's parents were heavy. Drug users, his mother Missy Kapoi being a crystal meth consumer who later recovered. His father, Mark Holloway, who constantly abused his mother, left when Max was around 11 years old. Max started training kickboxing in 2007 at the end of his sophomore year, aged 15, out of Team Ruthless, and went on to win his first amateur bout in the sport after three days of training. He graduated from Wainai High School in 2010. Mixed martial arts career Early MMA career at the age of 19, Holloway had a master record of 4-0. He gained recognition as the number 7 featherweight prospect of 2012 in Bloody Elbows 2012 World MMA Scouting Report and was compared with former UFC and former WEC lightweight champion Anthony Pettis, due to his ability to incorporate a wide array of flying and spinning kicks, knees and elbows into his striking game. His early career was highlighted by a split decision win over former Strike Force and WEC veteran Harris Saramento on March 12th. 2011, earning himself the lightweight strap for the Hawaii-based X1 promotion, Ultimate Fighting Championship 2012 Holloway was the youngest fighter on the UFC roster when he made his promotional debut as an injury replacement for Ricardo Lamas at UFC 143 on February 4, 2012, against Dustin Poirier. He lost the fight via submission, mounted triangle armbar, in the first round. In his second fight, Holloway faced Pat Schilling on June 1, 2012, at the Ultimate Fighter 15 finale, Holloway won via unanimous decision, 30-27, 30-27, 30-27, dot, Holloway defeated Justin Lawrence, on August 11, 2012, at UFC 150. Holloway won the fight via TKO in the second round, Holloway fought Leonard Garcia on December 29, 2012, at UFC 155, replacing an injured Cody McKenzie, Holloway won the close fight via split decision. 2013 Holloway faced Dennis Bermudez on May 25, 2013, at UFC 160. He lost the fight controversially via split decision. 11 out of 11 media members scored the fight in favor of Holloway. Holloway faced Conor McGregor on August 17, 2013, at UFC Fight Night 26. He lost the fight via unanimous decision. 2014 Holloway faced promotional newcomer Will Chope on January 4, 2014, at UFC Fight Night 34. Holloway won the fight via TKO in the second round, the win. Also earned Holloway his first knockout of the night bonus. Holloway faced Andre Philly on April 26, 2014, at UFC 172. He won the back-and-forth fight after submitting Philly in the third round. Holloway was expected to face Mir Sad Bakhtik on August 23. 2014, at UFC Fight Night 49, replacing an injured Ernest Chavez. However, Bektik pulled out of the bout in the week leading up to the event and was replaced by promotional newcomer Clay Collard. Holloway won the fight via TKO in the third round. Holloway again served as a replacement and faced Akira Khorasani on October 4, 2014, at UFC Fight Night 53, filling in for Chan Sung Young. He won the fight via knockout in the first round. The win earned Holloway his first performance of the Night Bonus Award. 2015 Holloway faced Cole Miller on February 15, 2015, at UFC Fight Night 60. Holloway won via unanimous decision. Holloway faced Cub Swanson on April 18, 2015, at UFC on Fox 15. 
Holloway finished the fight with a mounted guillotine in the third round. The win also earned Holloway his second performance of the night bonus award. Holloway faced Charles Oliveira on August 23, 2015, at UFC Fight Night 74. He won the fight via TKO in the first round after Oliveira suffered an apparent neck-slash-shoulder injury while defending a takedown and was unable to continue. The injury was later described as a micro-tear in his esophagus, although the UFC later released a Statement clarifying that Oliveira had no major injuries. With the win, Holloway became the youngest fighter in UFC history to get 10 wins. Holloway faced Jeremy Stevens on December 12, 2015, at UFC 194. 52, Holloway won the fight via unanimous decision. 2016 Holloway faced Ricardo Lamas on June 4, 2016, at UFC 199. He won via unanimous decision. Holloway faced Anthony Pettis for the interim UFC featherweight championship on December 10, 2016, at UFC 206, at the weigh-ins, Pettis. Came in at 148 pounds, 3 pounds over the featherweight limit of 145 pounds, for a championship fight. As a result, in case Pettis were to win the fight with Holloway, he would be ineligible for the UFC championship. Pettis was also fined 20% of his purse, which went to Holloway and the bout proceeded at a catchweight. Holloway won the fight via TKO in the third round and was awarded a performance of the night bonus. 2017 Holloway faced the featherweight champion Jose Aldo in a title unification bout on June 3, 2017, at UFC 212. After facing some early adversity, Holloway defeated Aldo via TKO in the third round and earned his first fight of the night bonus award for the bout on October 4. 2017, Holloway revealed that he had signed a new multi-fight deal with UFC. Holloway was expected to face Frankie Edgar on December 2, 2017, at UFC 218 Wink with a Frown, however, on November 8, 2017, Edgar withdrew from the card due to injury and was replaced by Jose Aldo. Holloway won the fight via TKO in the third round and retained the UFC featherweight belt. 2018 The bout with Edgar was rescheduled and was expected to take place on March 3, 2018, at UFC 222, however, it was announced on February 3, 2018, that Holloway had been forced to pull out of the bout due to a leg injury. Holloway in 2018 On April 1, 2018, Holloway was announced as a late replacement for the injured Tony Ferguson in a fight for the vacant undisputed UFC lightweight championship at UFC 223 against Khabib Nurmagomedov to be held on April 7, 2018. If victorious, Holloway would be only the second fighter behind Conor McGregor in UFC history to hold titles in two different divisions simultaneously. Holloway, who had no fight scheduled and was not in a training camp, accepted the fight with only six days to prepare. On April 6, as he was due to weigh in, Holloway was pulled from the card by New York State Athletic Commission doctors due to the severity of his short notice weight cut. The bout continued with Alaya Quinta as a last minute replacement for Holloway. Holloway was then scheduled to defend his UFC featherweight championship title on July 7. 2018, at UFC 226 against Brian Ortega. However, on July 4, Holloway was pulled from the fight due to concussion-like symptoms for his second title. Defense, Holloway faced Brian Ortega in the main event at UFC 231 in Toronto, Canada on December 8, 2018. Holloway won the fight via TKO at the end of fourth round by Dr. Stoppage. This win earned him the Fight of the Night and Performance of the Night awards. Holloway broke the record for most significant strikes in one fight with 290. Broke the record for landing 134 of those significant strikes in a round and set the record for most victories in UFC featherweight history with. 15. 2019 Holloway moved up a weight class and faced Dustin Poirier in a rematch for the interim UFC lightweight championship on April 13, 2019, at UFC 236. He lost the back-and-forth fight by unanimous decision. This fight earned him the Fight of the Night award. Holloway came back down to featherweight, and a bout against former UFC lightweight champion Frankie Edgar was scheduled a third time and eventually took place on July 27. 2019, in the main event of UFC 240, Holloway won the fight by unanimous decision. 
successfully defending his featherweight title for a third time in his fourth title defense, Holloway faced Alexander. Volkanovski on December 14, 2019, at UFC 245, he lost the fight by a unanimous decision, ending his featherweight reign. 2020 Holloway faced Alexander Volkanovsky in a rematch for the UFC featherweight championship on July 12 at UFC 251. He lost the fight via split decision. This decision was controversial amongst media outlets, with 18 out of 27 media scores giving it to Holloway. Mixed martial arts personalities such as UFC president Dana White, former referee and creator of the rules system John McCarthy, and multiple mixed martial artists. 2021 Holloway faced Calvin Kattar on January 16, 2021, headlining UFC on ABC1. Holloway dominated Kattar for all five rounds and won by unanimous decision, with two judges scoring the fight 50-43 and one judge scoring it 50-42 in his favor. During the last two minutes of the fifth round, Holloway landed a two-punch combo and proceeded to stare at the commentary team sitting cage-side and talk to them, while effortlessly dodging Catter's strikes and yelling I'm the best boxer in the UFC, to him, which generated talk about an homage to Muhammad Ali, known for his showboating. Holloway set the UFC single fight records for total strikes landed and attempted, significant strikes landed and attempted, strike differential, distance strikes landed, significant head strikes landed and significant body strikes landed. His fourth round also set the record for strikes and significant strikes landed. Both fighters earned the Fight of the Night award. Holloway was scheduled to face Yair Rodriguez on July 17, 2021, at UFC on ESPN 26, 104, on June 17, 2021, reports stated that Holloway was forced to pull out of the fight with Rodriguez due to injury. Holloway faced Yair Rodriguez on November 13, 2021, at UFC Fight Night 197. He won the fight via unanimous decision. Both fighters earned the Fight of the Night award. 2022 Holloway was scheduled to face Alexander Volkanovsky for the UFC Featherweight Championship on March 5, 2022, at UFC 272. However, a day after the fight announcement, Holloway was forced to pull from the event due to injury. The trilogy bout was rescheduled to occur at UFC 276 on July 2, 2022. Holloway lost the bout via unanimous decision. 2023 Holloway faced Arnold Allen on April 15, 2023 at UFC on ESPN 44. He won the fight by unanimous decision. Holloway faced Yung Chan Sung on August 26, 2023 at UFC Fight Night 225, 116. He won the bout via knockout at the beginning of the third round. This bout earned him a Fight of the Night award. 2024 Holloway is scheduled to face Justin Gaethje in a lightweight bout on April 13, 2024, at UFC 300 for the BMF belt. Personal life Holloway married his longtime girlfriend Kaimana Paluhai in 2012, with whom he has one son, Resh Holloway. The couple separated in 2014 before divorcing in 2017. Holloway began dating Hawaiian pro surfer Alessa Quizon in early 2020. They married on April 16, 2022. Championships and Accomplishments Ultimate Fighting Championship UFC Featherweight Championship, one time, former, three successful title defenses interim UFC Featherweight Championship, one time, highest significant strike differential in UFC Championship history, plus 180 versus. Brian Ortega, third most title fight wins in UFC Featherweight Division history, five, first American to win the UFC Featherweight Championship knockout of the night, one time, versus. Will Chope, fight of the night, six times, versus Jose Aldo, Brian Ortega, Dustin Poirier, Calvin Kattar, Yair Rodriguez, and Yung Chan Sung performance of the night, four times, versus Akira Khorasani, Cub Swanson, Anthony Pettis, and Brian Ortega most post-fight bonuses in UFC featherweight division history, 10, tied, John Jones, Demetrius Johnson, George St. Pierre. Khabib Nurmagomedov and Islam Makhachev, for third longest winning streak in UFC history, 13, longest winning streak in the UFC. Featherweight division history, 13, most wins in UFC featherweight division history, 20, most knockouts in UFC featherweight division history, 9, most finishes in UFC featherweight division history, 11, 
tied Darren Elkins for most bouts in UFC featherweight division history, 26, most significant strikes landed in UFC history, 3197. Most significant strikes landed in UFC featherweight division history, 2892. Most total strikes landed in UFC history, 3441. Most total strikes landed in UFC featherweight division history, 3096. Most total fight time in UFC featherweight division history, 6 hours 47 minutes and 23 seconds. Third most total fight time in UFC history, 7 hours 26 minutes and 10 seconds, tied, Dustin Poirier, Rafael Dos Anjos and John Jones, for 7th most wins in UFC history, 21. Second most decision wins in UFC featherweight division history, 9. Third most knockdowns landed in UFC featherweight division history, 10. Most significant strikes absorbed in UFC history, 21-21, highest significant. Strike differential in a fight in UFC history, plus 312 versus Calvin Katar, second highest significant strike differential in a fight in UFC history, plus 180 versus. Brian Ortega, most significant strikes landed in a fight in UFC history, plus 445 versus Calvin Katar, second most significant strikes landed in a fight in UFC history, plus 290 versus. Brian Ortega, second most significant strikes landed in a fight in UFC featherweight division history, plus 290 versus. Brian Ortega, third most significant strikes landed in a fight in UFC featherweight division history, plus 230 versus Yair Rodriguez, most significant strikes attempted in a fight in UFC history, plus 744 versus Calvin Katar, most significant strikes attempted in a fight in UFC lightweight division history. Plus 446 versus Dustin Poirier, most significant strikes attempted in a fight in UFC featherweight division history, plus 744 versus Calvin Katar, second most significant strikes attempted in a fight in UFC featherweight division history, plus 490 versus. Brian Ortega, most distance strikes landed in a fight in UFC history, plus 439 versus Calvin Katar, second most distance strikes landed in a fight in UFC history, plus 281 versus. Brian Ortega, second most distance strikes landed in a fight in UFC featherweight division history, plus 281 versus. Brian Ortega, Third most distance strikes landed in a fight in UFC featherweight division history, plus 187 versus Yair Rodriguez. Most significant head strikes landed in a fight in UFC history, plus 274 versus Calvin Katar. Most significant head strikes landed in a fight in UFC featherweight division history, plus 274 versus Calvin Katar. Second most significant head strikes landed in a fight in UFC featherweight division history plus 244 versus. Brian Ortega, most significant body strikes landed in a fight in UFC history, plus 117 versus Calvin Katar, 124, most significant body strikes landed in a fight in UFC featherweight division history, plus 117 versus Calvin Katar, second most significant body strikes landed in a fight in UFC featherweight division history. Plus 66 versus Yair Rodriguez, most total strikes landed in a fight in UFC history, plus 447 versus Calvin Katar, most total strikes landed in a fight in UFC featherweight division history, plus 447 versus Calvin Katar, second most total strikes landed in a fight. Calvin Katar, most total strikes attempted in a fight in UFC lightweight division history, plus 473 versus Dustin Poirier, most total strikes attempted in a fight in UFC featherweight division history, plus 746 versus Calvin Katar, second most total strikes attempted in a fight in UFC featherweight division history, plus 507 versus Brian Ortega. Third most total strikes attempted in a fight in UFC featherweight division history, plus 434 versus Yair Rodriguez. Second most total head strikes landed in a fight in UFC history, plus 274 versus Calvin Katar. Third most total head strikes landed in a fight in UFC history, plus 254 versus. 
Brian Ortega, most total head strikes landed in a fight in UFC featherweight division history, plus 274 versus Calvin Kattar, second most total head strikes landed in a fight in UFC featherweight division history, plus 254 versus. Brian Ortega, most total body strikes landed in a fight in UFC history, plus 119 versus Calvin Kattar, most significant strikes landed in a round in UFC history, plus 141 in round 4 versus Calvin Kattar, second most significant strikes landed in a round in UFC history, plus 134 in round 4 versus. Brian Ortega, most significant strikes landed in a round in UFC featherweight division history, plus 141 in round 4 versus Calvin Kattar, second most significant strikes landed in a round in UFC featherweight division history, plus 134 in round 4 versus. Brian Ortega, second most significant strikes attempted in a round in UFC history, plus 204 in round 3 versus Jose Aldo, Third most significant strikes attempted in a round in UFC history, plus 196 in round 4 versus. Brian Ortega, fourth most significant strikes attempted in a round in UFC history, plus 191 in round 4 versus Calvin Kattar, most significant strikes attempted in a round in UFC featherweight division history, plus 204 in round 3 versus Jose Aldo, second most significant strikes attempted in a round in UFC featherweight division history plus 196 in round 4 versus. Brian Ortega, third most significant strikes attempted in a round in UFC featherweight division history, plus 191 in round 4 versus Calvin Kattar, most total strikes landed in a round in UFC featherweight division history, plus 141 in round 4 versus. Brian Ortega, second most total strikes landed in a round in UFC featherweight division history, plus 141 in round 4 versus Calvin Kattar, second most total strikes attempted in a round in UFC history, plus 212 in round 3 versus Jose Aldo, third most total strikes attempted in a round in UFC history, plus 203 in round 4 versus. Brian Ortega, fourth most total strikes attempted in a round in UFC history, plus 191 in round 4 versus Calvin Kattar, most total strikes attempted in a round in UFC featherweight division history, plus 212 in round 3 versus Jose Aldo, second most total strikes attempted in a round in UFC featherweight division history, plus 203 in round 4 versus. Brian Ortega, Third most total strikes attempted in a round in UFC featherweight division history, plus 191 in round 4 versus Calvin Kattar, 2021 UFC Forrest Griffin Community Award, 2017 Fighter of the Year, X1 World Events X1 Lightweight Championship, one time, former. World MMA Awards 2017 Charles Mask Lewis Fighter of the Year, MMA Mania.com UFC slash MMA Fighter of the Year 2017 Top 5 List Hashtag 1, Real Sport 2017 Fighter of the Year, Pundit Arena 2017 Fighter of the Year, MMA Fighting.com 2017 Fighter of the Year, Bishop Sports Network.com 2017 Fighter of the Year, Madna.nl 2018 Performance of the Year vs. Brian Ortega, SureDog 2021 Beatdown of the Year vs. Calvin Kattar, MMAJunkie.com 2023 April Fight of the Month vs. Arnold Allen.